Good morning, uh, January 7th, 2024. And today is the day that we put this old well back into action. Uh, this well was built sometime back in the 60s. It has been abandoned for at least 30 or 40 years. It was open to the elements for at least a few decades before I put the cap on it. Um, and we're going to try and get this thing up and running today with a 12-volt echo-worthy pump. I've already hauled out the pump, the rope, and the power cord. That's all hooked up. I got some pipe to haul out here, and uh, I'm going to bleach this thing before I uh, even drop this pump in here, because uh, with it being open to the weather for several decades, who knows how many squirrels have gone down that thing. Uh, one confusing part of this well is this guy. I put a uh, little bottle over the top of it just to keep it clean, but when I was tampering with a well last summer there was a large pipe on the top I dropped that pipe accidentally of course and it weighed about 500 pounds it took a really long time to fall down and when it did water shot out of this pipe so not sure what that actually connects to it's about a good six feet away from the well and uh, just so you can see what was here see those cement pylons uh, there was a very large water storage here, tank here back in the day as well. But, alright, I'm going to uh, stop blabbing and uh, get to work. Alright, i got everything I need to do this all hauled out here. I'm going to uh, drop about a half gallon or more of bleach down the well first, followed by about five gallons of water. And then we're going to uh, hook up that first 20 foot piece of PEX pipe to the pump, throw a check valve on there, Put the other 100 foot of pipe onto that and uh, start lowering this thing down. There, I'm just going to uh, drop a good deal of bleach down here first. Uh, it's probably about a half gallon. Mix that up. I love that sound. Yeah, well that part's done. All right, I'm just going to kind of let this thing run as I work here, and I'm not going to be screwing with the camera too much more. All right, so I got the well pump tied off to the fence just in case I screw up and drop it. I've got the first 20 feet of pipe on there. I'm going to put the check valve on there, make sure I get that in the right direction. All right. You're good. Yeah, I got the hundred foot roll of PEX on round un, unbound and hook it up to this one. Then we'll start sending it. All right, she's all together. Got some electrical tape in my pocket so I can start taping this together as it goes. This video is going to be like three hours long, and you're going to see about two minutes of it. Now we've hit water. So we've hit water. 
and I am not even to my uh, 10 foot mark on my power cord where I spliced it together. So the water level actually sits pretty high and I still got uh, about 110 feet to go. I probably don't need to tape this much, but I'm taping it about every five feet or so. At least till I get to that blue pipe. All right. To the check valve, we're 20 feet down, or 20 feet almost in the hole. I do have the rope marked at 75 feet, so I know about where I want to stop. I have no idea how deep I am right now. I just know I got a lot of blue pipe left. But I should have about 30, 40 feet of blue pipe left when I'm done. When I hit 75 feet. And here, try to tangle again. All right, got to my 75 foot mark. Yeah, this rope is tied off to the fence posts. I just want to kind of keep it here while I take a breather. Actually, it doesn't look like it's sliding anywhere. That pipe uh, with all the twists and so forth is really hidden the side of the well. Uh, I'm gonna stop this video while I catch my breath. Yeah, we are at 75 foot depth. Got everything running through the old rubber cap there. I'll neaten that up later. Lost a microphone playing with all this hose, but I do have it tied off temporarily. Hose and power are running through the fence. So, it take me a little breather, bring out the power supply, and see if this thing shoots out water. Back in a bit. All right, it's a moment of truth now. Now, hopefully that hose is in the frame. Too much glare for me to see. Got my other microphone. Battery in, power on. You can feel it vibrating. I hope this is on camera. We got freaking water. Seventy five feet deep down in that well. Don't look pretty, but we'll let that thing run for a bit. I'll let it drain over the side and we'll see if it cleans itself up. That freaking works. All right, there we go. We have well water, it is brown.
It just started pumping. Gonna let this thing run for a good while. Get whatever nasties in there out. But uh, this is the Ecoworthy pump 75 feet down an old well. And the bugger's working. I'm just curious what the flow rate is on this, so I'm gonna fill a bucket and then I can time it. Five gallon bucket. All right, I've had this thing running for over an hour now. Let's see if the water's looking any better. It's definitely coming out clearer than it was. Not getting a, any rust particles like I was. It's got a slight tint to it. But uh, we'll let this thing run for another few hours and see how clear we can get it. Right, back in a bit. Well, the chickens are checking out the new toys. What's up, smokers? Water's still flowing. It's been running about an hour and it's only used one bar off the 4 amp hour battery. That's the main thing I was checking, make sure the battery's still good. And we'll see if the water's any worse or better. It's slowly clearing up. Still got some yellow tint to it. Alright, I'm gonna let this thing run another hour or two and then uh, check on it again. Good jiggies. What's up, smokers?